Let's try it out. Oh my god, that is so good. You wanna know what? You wanna know what? We did it. Well, it's a big day today. What is up guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, I am super, super excited for today actually, because uh, today we're actually gonna make a DIY or do it yourself at weight plates, because I don't have enough plates uh, that I'm gonna put on this bar right here, because I got a bench press, I got a bar, uh, and obviously I need way more weights, because now I think I have like 20 kilograms or 45 pounds, and that's not enough at all, and it, it is like, 200 bucks or something like that just for like 100 kilos or 225 pounds and I'm not paying 200 bucks for that obviously so what we have this cement cement right here which we're actually going to make some weight plates we got some bags we got everything so we're going to go outside we're going to collect some rocks and I'm basically going to show you what you're basically going to need for this first of all you're going to need cement that is uh, super super important for all this to work you are going to need gravel right here. That is important because we're going to mix that into the cement. You are going to need a scale. I'm just going to use the bathroom scale right here because we have to make sure that everything is uh, in the weight we want it to be so we don't mix one plate that's like seven kilos and then we'll mix one plate that's like uh, seven and a half. Like that, that won't work, right? You do not need this, but uh, for, for convenience, uh, I would suggest having a bucket and one of these because uh, then you can like square it out with this one right here uh, and then you can like blend it in here the cement but you can do it on the ground as well uh, and just with a spatula but uh, I would just say that for the convenience I'm gonna use this one and then I also have I got this tool right here uh, instead of using it like a spatula or whatever you call it like one of these but just bigger uh, to mix it with uh, I'm just gonna use this, but if you don't have this at all, uh, you can just use this and what you do is that you go ahead and you fold it in. In order to form the plate, what I'm gonna use is this big ass bucket, because it has a big, nice round hole in it. So what I'm gonna do after I make the cement, I'm gonna put it inside here, uh, and this is basically gonna be our form. Oh, one more thing that you're gonna need, I just need to uh, chop it up first. So we're gonna need some armoring for it as well. So what we do have is that we have this iron plate that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut. And we're gonna need to cut them the correct size as well. So maybe something like this and we're gonna need, uh, we're gonna need four of these. As you can see. Okay. So as you can see, this is a good fit uh, and we're obviously gonna pour cement in first. One more super necessary thing. So I was lucky enough to find this tube right here. So this is the barbell we're gonna use, right? So it's not the biggest barbell, it's like 15 kilos or something like that. And this one fits perfectly inside here, right? It's not a lot of room. So what we're actually gonna do is that before we start to throw in the cement, we're gonna cut it here. Uh, or roughly the thickness you want, like maybe that thick or something like that, we're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna place this one in the middle, right here, and then we're obviously gonna put the cement over it, and actually, I'm, ju I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna start mixing this stuff, and then I'll cut it up, and then I'll show you the process. So maybe in the ballpark of here, so I'm just gonna create a little mark. So we're gonna leave that inside here, right? So that this is basically as thick as the plate is gonna get. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weigh out the cement and we're gonna weigh out the rocks and then we're gonna make our uh, cement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got the bucket right here. We got the scale, some cement on it. Okay guys, so what happened is that the bathroom scale didn't cut it. So we need an old school scale like this one, uh, which is obviously gonna show the kilos when you press it down. So this will be perfect for it. So that is roughly seven, that's like 900 grams. Uh, so we're gonna subtract that uh, from the weight that we get. Okay, let's see. How much is that? That's three and a half kilos. And it's a bit less, but what we're actually gonna do is that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some, some more cement in it and some rocks. Just like that. 
Philippines. We got roughly almost seven kilos. So we're gonna put a li little bit more like that. So we're gonna put water in it as well. Uh, but we're gonna weigh the, the plates after as well. And then we're gonna tweak it because we're gonna add water, but that... God damn it. Why today, huh? I'm trying to do a job here. So we got the machine right here, which we are gonna use to, uh, God damn it, so much sound. So we got the machine that we're gonna use to blend it all. Uh, so I'm gonna bring the bucket right here because this is the only place with a power outlet. <laughs> got it right here. Okay. So we got a bit of water right here. Water in it real quick. Like that. Basically we want it to be kind of thick. Like a woman, am I right? <laughs> Okay, so now we got the cement blended, right? This is where it all comes to play. This right here is gonna be one of the uh, forms, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put it on the scale. That is one kilo on the dot, because uh, if you take it off, it says 250, right? So if we put this one right here on, it says one kilo and 250 grams, right? So that means this one is one kilo, right? <laughs> so now we know that is that is one kilo. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put that one that we created in the middle. We needed something bigger than this one. This one we're gonna use to like even it out. But as of right now, we're gonna use this big one right here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab some, and then we're gonna place it inside here. Remember, you want the cement to be pretty thick. So we got that right now inside here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna even it out. So you can see that that is centered, the, the tube. Uh, okay, so now we got this four right here to arm it. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put one right here. We're gonna put one right there and then these ones we're gonna put right here and then right there just like that okay so stupid me obviously <laughs> I didn't blend enough so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend a bit more of it um, so I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna blend more cement real quick and then we're gonna pour it over that one again and then after that we're gonna weigh it see how much it weighs see now that this one right here has to be a bit thicker, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna saw out a new one, uh, which is a bit thicker, but you can see that is dead centered, which is perfect. Inside here, look at that. That is absolutely perfect, that's what we want. We got some more cement, which we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in right now. there okay so just like that and what is super important is that you go ahead and you go like this because there's a lot of air pockets inside here and we want to get rid of all that air we don't want that peace okay so we're at 11 kilos 11 kilos 11 kilos is perfect that's what we want so we got our first one, right? That's one plate. We're gonna create one of those plates, but we're also gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a smaller, smaller plate, which we're gonna use this bucket right here for. In order to make sure we create the same uh, size, I actually went and I made a hole where this one stops. So it's basically, we can measure from here to there later create some um, more plates with this one so that is one plate and this is the other plate we're gonna go ahead and make okay guys so I'm actually gonna go ahead I'm, I'm gonna time it I don't know how long it will take for it to get firm uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna time it to see 
how long it will take. It has been sitting for maybe five minutes now, so it's five minutes and three seconds. <laughs> okay guys, so what we're actually gonna do, we're done with that one right there. Uh, that one turned out to be, wait, what, seven kilos or something like that? Not that bad at all, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna let them dry. So we're gonna wait like a couple of hours and I'll catch up with you guys later on. It's the next day, uh, but it's 20 hours or 21 hours basically. Uh, and they are hard now. So now we can try to take them out of these buckets. There we go. Looks fairly nice to me actually, and it feels good. It feels strong. Good, look at that. That actually looks good. And it's the last part right here. It's probably like seven kilos or something like that. As you can see, this one did not dry all the way, so we're gonna have to just leave it here and let it dry for a bit more. Uh, but that means we can go ahead and we can make our next batch. Okay guys, so what I tried to say yesterday is that uh, now we got this one, right? So we know how thick it's gonna be. So now we're gonna make one more. So we're gonna go ahead, hold it like that and we're gonna cut it right here. So that will create the same thickness and obviously the same weight uh, as that one. And if that one is a bit heavier or the other one is a bit heavier, uh, we're just gonna take like sandpaper and just uh, kinda like take it down. I also wanna see this is the first time that I'm trying stuff like this, so do not kill me in the comments. <laughs> Uh, okay guys, so as you can see, uh, we got uh, one plate right here, uh, which obviously gonna have to need some more time to set really good. And this one as well needs some more time to set, but I can feel it's super hard, and it's basically how I want it to be. Two more, one right there, one right there. And they will basically have to sit tomorrow, until tomorrow, uh, and these ones, we can wait like, a couple more hours and then we can try to start to shape them see how much they weigh and then spray paint them and do what I want to do with them okay so I am in a tool shed right now trying to find something to brush it with uh, and the best thing I can find is actually this knife so I'm not able to find anything to brush it with but I can use this knife right here uh, we're actually gonna go outside and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix the first two that we made the other two is still in the in the the buckets. We're gonna take them out and let them dry for a bit as well. But we're gonna go outside right now and see how it looks. Okay, guys, so we got the plate right here, which we are gonna put on the scale. See how much it weighs. We got 11 kilos on the dot, because that is 250. And if I take this one out. You can see 250. So this bad boy right here is 11 kilos, which I am super, super excited about. Some cracks and stuff like that, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, to be honest, I'm happy with this one. Uh, as you can see, it got like super rough edges. So we got this, uh, this knife right here, which we can just go ahead and we can just do a bit of that. And what I'm actually gonna do is that I am going to put some tape on it, around it, uh, in case it uh, drops on the floor or something like that. And then I'm also going to spray paint. We got the other one as well, uh, which we are also going to scale. Let me just see. Put that right here. See how much this paper right here weighs. So that is, let me see, that would be five and a five kilos and 750 grams six kilos we'll work with that <laughs> we'll work with that as long as this one is the equal to the other one we'll, we succeed Look, that's red and that's red. It looks red, right? No. Just gonna continue spray painting this. We should have used actually just some paint instead. 
I'm gonna continue using the spray paint, just turn it around. That is the second batch. And if you ask me, it looks pretty damn good. So we're gonna let the these two dry for uh, like two hours. And, and after that, I'm gonna turn them around and do the other side. And for these ones, they're gonna have to be set uh, until tomorrow. Uh, and after tomorrow, I can weigh them and see if they weigh exactly the same. Hopefully they do. Get that out of the way real quick. So we will fit the, fit the bar. Awesome. So I am actually pretty excited of uh, how this is going to turn out. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later on. <laughs> guys, listen up. It is... Finally, D-Day, uh, those two plates right there are done, and these two plates right here are done. So what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna go ahead and put them on the scale to test it out, see how much every, uh, see how much it weighs. I haven't weighed them, uh, or I've weighed those two, but I haven't weighed the other two, so hopefully they're equal. <laughs> Let's start off with this bad boy right here. Okay, so what does it say right now? It says, uh, a bit over 250 and if I put on this bad boy right here that's perfect that's like 11 kilos about this one this one right here is like five and a half kilos but just to show you that it actually works we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put them on the bar right now so this one is a 25 millimeter one we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it on. You see that? Woo! It's working! Look at that. Huh? That is absolutely perfect. 6.8G. Okay. That was an ugly as G. <laughs> So what happened was uh, this scale right here actually pranked us because it doesn't go more than 11 kilos and 250 grams. So actually what we did is that we went ahead and we went and got the bathroom scale. We weighed this one out, which turned out to be 13.7. This one turned out to be 13.7. That is super good. So that means that both of them are equal. That's maybe basically what we want. This one is 5.8 and this one is 6.8. So that's basically one kilogram uh, difference, but that's no worse because what we're going to do is that we can take a kilo from this one and just put it next to that one. So it's a, it's a, it's a win-lose situation, but I'm happy about it. It's still the first time I have ever done this, <laughs> so don't kill me in the comments. I'm I'm <laughs> Guys, I just want to say one more time that this is the first time I'm making it. I haven't made it before, uh, and I just want to say that we we did three out of four. I don't know why this one weighs more. Maybe because I have more water or maybe some more heavy rocks or something like that. But three out of four, that's good enough for me. <laughs> and I just want to say if you want to try this at home, go ahead and try it. So we moved over. Better lighting. But what I wanted to say is that if you guys are going to try this, uh, go ahead and comment down below. I'm really curious if uh, anybody else wants to do this. Because the reason why I did this is because everybody treats weights right now like gold. And, and I don't want to be paying like over a thousand bucks for weights. Because uh, I feel like that's super unnecessary. So I just went ahead and the man in me was like, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create it myself. <laughs> so I went and I just bought some concrete. Uh, and you basically saw what I did throughout this video right here. And if you're going to make it, please send me a picture of it. I'm wondering how it's going to look. Uh, it's obviously going to look better than mine. <laughs> 100% probably. But I just want to say thank you so much for watching the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>